Hello everyone, welcome back to CRGTR channel. Today, this video will teach you guys how to blending a Medibank Pen Pro. This is the desktop version. Okay, um, I will use two tools in here. That's it. You can see in the brush in here, that's the watercolor and watercolor wet. Those are tools that I always use when I use them to painting. And I also sometimes I use airbrush for some soft part that I want to use it to mixing. And you must understand about the watercolor wet here is not the same as the blur tone or the uh, watercolor in pencil sign. This is different. This is also the brush, and you pick the color, and it's real mixing to color, uh, to color together. Okay, you can see that here I will choose one color first. This is nearly pink, right? And then I will choose another color that is like orange. So you will see that there's two color, and I use watercolor. Why I choose this brush because it gives out the soft few light like this, and you can put it. <coughs> when you use the brush, you will give like the same as traditional that you will add a lot of layers color, and when you just drag it slightly, the colors will look light and then you can press the brush and then it will have a heavy look like this so the watercolor wet in here actually this is just the brush and then it will mix two color together with the colors you choose in here so you can see that if I use watercolor wet it also gives the color here you can see when you put it in this color, it will mix two colors together. So that's why you must remember this brush is not the same as the blur tone because actually there is have the blur tone here. I remember it's around there, here, and uh, smoked. But I don't like the effect that they give out. You can see that it's not strong enough to mixing together and it keeps the effect like too soft for me and you can also use smoke like this and the smoke secure is just the same in photoshop and it's not work very well maybe when you double click to the smoke tone in here and choose uh, the setting opacity kind of like this maybe it will work better but I just don't like it and I feel like using watercolor wet in here is the best way that I can do okay and so how it's working here I will go back to the character here and painting the skin so you can see how I use those tone let me turn off the layer skin here okay so you see the layer seven here that is the base skin tone of this character right so next I will create another layer and choose clipping so I will make a mask and will pan something out of this color so later I choose a tone the shadow color for this character and choose and use watercolor here Okay, here and then I pan. You can see when I turn this layer off, layer 50, 25, layer 25 off, and it will disappear. Turn it on, not messing with the layer 7 because they are two separate layer. Okay, so then when I turn, I put the colors in here. I want it to look a bit more pink. Okay, here. And then I use the watercolor wet. What I do now, I will pick the color, the base color here, and start to pan slightly. Brush in here, you can see they are mixed together. It's not the brush is blurring the color. Actually, that I use the same color of the base color, so that's why you can see anything different. I use that to mix color here. You see, 
this the effect that I can give out and the same if I want to paint something on the nose to make the shadow right I use cut watercolors in here and maybe like this pick a little bit color in here to change the color of the shadow and then I use watercolor wax in here so pick the base color and make this mix together like this you can see the effect right the effect in here that's it and sometimes I use airbrush in here for the soft look like make her look blushing and as you will keep like this I just use it sometimes if it's really neat because airbrush in here give out the strong feeling and I really don't like it so I just drag it lightly here so make her blushing so that is how I always use to tie uh, use those brush for blending and now I will show you how I paint the skin of the character when I use a uh, door brush okay I will delete that because I just make a sample about blending right and now I will paint the shadow of the character use the same way the layer 25 here and then I choose watercolor here and I pick the color you can use the palette box in here so you can have the palette that you always pick the same color like this so I have the skin shadows in here and there is some part of the character that is hiding like this and the nose I use this tie because uh, this tie is really easy to paint it's called cell shading but actually I mix it a little bit not really cell shading because sometimes I blending a lot and this will be the shadow around here under the neck same this part in here and the ears in here same under the eyes in here I want to draw the eye back it's just my style you don't have to follow it and okay I feel like I'm doing makeup for her like this okay look right now so I'm just done the first shadow color and I use the same watercolors here pick another color that I want to mix to give out the feeling that, that there is a bouncing uh, of the environment and maybe just because sometimes that I don't feel like uh, just use one color because it sounds kind of boring to me so I always go to the purples in here and pick kind okay, of purple like this and put it in here just put it in here and you will see when you use the watercolor and you put it in the character in here they will have a little bit mix in here to create another color so I pick that color to give out a second color and paint it so I will have another color and look not boring as the first one and I'll just do the same for the rest in here okay same here under the neck here will be the dark place so I always pick the strong color here you will see in the view after I pick the new colors will here and I will move it down here a little bit then I will have the strong and bold color see it's really good right so now I will use the watercolor wet in here for blending I will pick the base color of the skin and then depend on you must drag from outside to inside here so give out the feeling that is it blending okay like this 
If there's something that I think that is blending too much, I will pick that color around this part and use watercolor here to paint again. So it won't look kind of fade out and maybe I will use that color to paint in another part. Same here. Big base color and mix them. In some parts, you want to have the strong look. You will pick the base color and use watercolor here to erase that part, but not give the feeling that it is not blending. Okay, it's really quick, right? Now the same for the lips. I will choose kind of pink color around here and use the watercolor here and put one, two. That is enough. And you will use the watercolor wet in here for blending. Now use the watercolor here. It will have a second color, right? The lips is done, but I want it look shiny, so I decide to choose the transparent color of this color wheel and decrease the size of the brush. And like this, really quick, right? And the mouth is done. Now I want to give her some kind of the blush, so. She will look more leafly and choose airbrush in here and pick the color around here. Remember to go back to the colors in here or else will erase your work. this and then you're done the same as other part you can do it the same here uh, choose watercolor here and around the boobs is will kind of like this have the shadows in here mm, okay for great and then I will use watercolor wet and pick this here Just blending it, blending it. You can pick the dark color and use watercolor wet to create a shadow if you want to. It depends on your choice. Just understand about the colors and work on it. So now there's a part in here that I want to create it have a highlight. So I choose the transparent here and use this watercolor wet like this. You can see, right? And I increase and erase this part. Then you create a look of the boobs. That's it. So just start and do the rest, and then you will have look like this. See, in the characters in here that depend on how you pick the color and this is about my tutorials if you have something unclear please leave the comment below or if you want me to make another tutorial about my debug you can also leave the comment below to let me know thank you for watching goodbye